Hey, good evening, everyone. It's Monday night, and it's Motivational Monday. Uh, this is Kevin, Sonia's husband, coming to you tonight for all of you Oil Zamor uh, f- fanatics and fans. Um, good evening. So tonight, I wanted to touch on something that uh, is... Uh, something that we focus on at Stryker a little bit. Um, I'm going to first start with uh, going there. So Darren Hardy today, for those of you that are Darren Hardy um, listeners, he talked about leading or soaring with your strengths. So at Stryker, we follow Gallup very closely. We use the Gallup Corporation for a lot of different things. And one of the things that we focus on is identifying your strengths. So for those of you that have done a strengths finder, through Gallup. There's 34 signature themes and it identifies what are your top strengths, um, what are things that you are naturally good at that come to you naturally. For me, my top five, I'll share those with you tonight, um, just so you're aware. Number one is responsibility. Number two is achiever. Number three is belief. Number four is learner. And number five is empathy. So those are my top five signature themes or what maybe you could call them talents. Uh, those are things that are come naturally to me, the way that I'm kind of wired and the way that I operate. So Darren Hardy today in his um, in his Hardy uh, his daily Darren Daily, sorry, talked about identify those strengths, identify those things that you're really good at, and focus on those. He gave an example of a pitcher who had one specific pitch that he loved to use, and he was thinking that his coach would tell him to, you know, well, you've got to also make sure you can do this well and do that well. Um, and, but really, the coach came back to him and said, you know, I want you to just focus on this one pitch, the fast pitch for you, the fastball, sorry. And he did so, and he had just a, a breakout year and did a phenomenal job. So, that's how I wanted to start there. We're going to be talking tonight about what are, you, what, are you, what are your talents, what should you be focusing on, what are things that you should be uh, really uh, putting a lot of energy at so that you can continue to build that and be the very best at that, almost be the expert at that. Now, I want to transition. I found something online that I wanted to share with you. My daughter was in Girl Scouts. So she was um, a brownie or um, daisy, whatever the, the different levels were. And we know that every year, at a certain time of the year, the Girl Scouts start selling Girl Scout cookies. Well, she typically would sell maybe 20 to 30 boxes, and that was probably on the high side. And that was largely because we bought a good deal of those. Um, maybe someone in her troop might excel and get to like the three, four, maybe 500 boxes. And we thought that that was quite a few. Well, I want to share a little secret. Um, believe it or not, there was a girl in 2014. Her name was Kate, Katie Francis. And she had a goal of selling the most Girl Scout cookies. Um, and in 2014, she sold not 500, not 5,000, but 21,477 boxes of Girl Scout cookies. This girl was tenacious. She didn't stop. She was selling weekdays, weekends, all hours of the day. And she really started with goals of trying to sell uh, 18,000, then she raised it to 20,000, ultimately 21,000. Um, and really the thing that, fo- that, you know, if you think about these talents and things, uh, one of the things that Katie quickly learned was that she had to have um, an ability to not take no personally. She had a, a positive confidence and ego that allowed her to just reject rejection and to move on and not even worry about that, allowing her to adapt and to, to not get down when those rejections otherwise could have deterred her. And certainly she was able to reject rejection having been able to sell 21,477 boxes. So um, some of the talents, though, they identified that she had. Let me just share these with you. Stamina, focus, goal setting, inner motivation, healthy ego, rapidly learning, um, ability to persuade and close. So as you think about your position with oils and your desire to share these um, Young Living products with those around you, think about some of those talents. And specifically, I want you to focus on tonight. What is one talent that you know you have that you should really focus on and drive really hard to further develop and to grow and make it become a a super strength for you. Something that absolutely you can go to and is gonna be uh, the means for you succeeding without trying to have to say, hey, I've gotta build all of this and this and this and become the best well-rounded person. No, tonight is focused on what's that one thing that's gonna allow you to really excel and to be a natural at it. So I wanna share with you, um, sorry, this is gonna be a little bit longer than five minutes, but I wanna share with you eight talents Um, This is just something I found online. Eight talents that every salesperson needs. 
So again, talking about focusing on, on talents tonight, focusing on those that are your, your key number ones, identify what is it that I do really good at and how can I focus on that, build that to become even more. So number one, so take note of these. If one of these resonates with you, then take it, go with it, figure out how you can further develop it. And I'm interested in knowing, let me know what you're doing to, to develop it. But number one, whoa, I almost lost the camera, sorry. Let me put this back so I look like a turkey again. Like that, the little gobble, 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 gobble. Looks like I have a turkey thing around my head, the thing on the wall. <laughs> anyway, so number one is strong work ethic and high productivity. So think, are you one who has a super strong work ethic and is that the strength that you can continue to drive and use to further grow and build what you're establishing as your business and the foundation for your future with Young Living. So number one, strong work ethic. Number two, structure and organization. Some people are blessed with organization skills. Other people don't have it. And that's okay if it's not one of yours, but if it is one of yours, how can you leverage that and use that to your advantage to make it a competitive, competitive advantage and really grow your business, leveraging that strength and that talent that you've been given? Number three, excellent persuasion skills. If you're one of those who has excellent persuasion skills, I don't know that I am, but if you have excellent persuasion skills, use that to your advantage and figure out how you can always go there. Uh, don't feel like it's a crux that you're going there, but identify that as a strength and use it when you uh, to go there to, to build uh, relationships and to successfully build the business that you're seeking to build. Okay, number four is strategic thinker. Are you a strategic thinker? I don't think that I am. I'm more of an executor. With my high responsibility and high achievement or a high achiever, those are my top two themes, if you remember me sharing that at the very beginning. I'm not so much the strategist or strategist. I'm more the guy that says, hey, show me what needs to be done and I'm gonna work my tail off to get it done. Um, I think what we shared, uh, what did I share? The uh, strong work ethic. I feel like I'm more the strong work ethic and less the strategic thinker, but it's okay. Tonight again, focus on the one and, and identify how you can even make that stronger. Number five, positive outlook. Are you one of those that sees the silver lining in every dark cloud? And if so, identify, use that and say, hey, how can I make sure that this is helping me to grow every single day? Number six, ability to build and foster relationships. I think Sonia has an awesome ability to foster and build relationships with people. Um, I know a lot of the people that she works with uh, within Young Living also have that trait and have that skill. And you know what? If it's there, again, soar with your strength, use it. Number seven, growth-oriented entrepreneur. The person who looks at everything and says, hey, I see a way that I can grow that and make that even bigger and better. Um, again, that's not me, uh, but if that's your goal, uh, sorry, if that's your talent, if that's what you innately have within you, then leverage it, run with it, go with it. The last one, competitive drive. I think each one of us have deep down some sort of competition, whether that's with ourselves, whether that's with others, um, whether it's with our spouse, whether it's with business builders, whether it's with someone we don't even know but that we want to compete with. Again, if that's what the motivation is, that's the, the talent that you have is that you're competitive, don't let that be a fault, but identify how can I use that as a strength and really drive and use that to, mot to motivate me and to help me be successful. So again, um, talents are things that, you know, as as the definition is described, those are things that are innate. They're things that are just, they're part of us. Um, that's, um, they, some people say that they can't be taught or learned, rather that they can be identified, measured, and fostered. So for you tonight, I want you to think about what is that number one talent or that number one strength? What's the one thing that you want to focus on and soar and grow? And really identify, maybe share it in the post below, but also identify that and identify ways that you can, you can build that. And if you need help, if you want to identify what your strength is and you're looking for some feedback, share it in the post below. Everyone else can pile on and say, hey, you know what? I think this is what you could do to further grow that. Um, again, the eight that I shared tonight, I'll really quick just recap those and then we'll finish up. One is a strong work ethic and high productivity. Two is structure and organization. Three is excellent persuasion skills. Four is a strategic thinker. Five is positive outlook. Six is ability to build and foster relationships. Seven is growth-oriented entrepreneur. And eight is competitive drive. So again, you don't have to sell 21,477 Girl Scout boxes, cookies, boxes of Girl Scout cookies. Um, but what I do want you to do tonight is identify that top strength, figure out what's that talent, that strength that you can use to grow. Post it below and who knows how many Girl Scout cookies or the equivalent of Girl Scout cookies you'll end up being able to grow your business um, in Young Living. Uh, 21,477, that's quite a business. And uh, 
So motivational Monday tonight, here's to you and your strength. Um, identify it, let's grow it, and let's see what happens. Have a great evening. Thanks for coming.